Hello and welcome to Speed Force, the Flash podcast. I'm your host, Phil Maynard. And I'm your other host, Eric Johnson. This week we are reviewing the episode Going Rogue, episode four, I believe, correct? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Number five on the website. Yeah, number five on the website since we did that special premiere for everyone. Um, Which still is getting hits. People are still enjoying it. It's a classic because it has an episode it's from an older episode um no but this is the episode like so many cool things happen in this episode we had captain cold and felicity smoke joined for an episode yeah which eric is smiling a lot (laughs) oh my gosh uh i gotta show you like the new episode of uh arrow coming out next week or whatever is called the secret origin of felicity smoke and i guess there's a flashback where felicity was goth i have to show you the picture yeah i can actually see felicity being goth like when she was in college at mit it's a photo that they released and again your idea of goth and dude the actual goth is like two different things uh no it actually is but this episode was um pretty good where we had captain cold come in Um, I always loved Captain Cold from, uh, anything that he's ever been on. Yeah, that's pretty goth. Yeah, I told you. (laughs) She's goth in it. Um, so, uh, we got a couple of things to read for the episode. We got, um, a Facebook post from Mel and an email from Patty. Um, I'll read Mel's first. Um... Mel Jones says, finally got to wa- catch up on this week's episode. It has stepped up a couple notches since the premiere. Not just because Felicity was in the episode. I liked seeing Harrison Wells' dark side. Uh, there all of it was enough to make me wonder if Cisco will be Barry's ally or his enemy. Which, um, I looked up Cisco's origin for vibe in the comics i looked it up and he was part of the justice league as a we have this justice we had this part of the justice league to stop the justice league if the justice league goes crazy and evil and insane isn't that kind of like how batman like yes. watches superman yes like that's i don't know who hired him it, I, it may have been amanda waller who brought them to the justice league but the reason Vi was selected is because in the comics, he was the only one who could use his sonic powers to... He was the only one who could get Flash out of the Speed Force. And that's why he, w- he was a ally, but a, a, potential, a potential enemy, if need be. Um, now we also have an email from Patty Lambert. Uh, hers is mainly about last week's episode, but... Eric's going to read this real quick. All right. Don't read that part. Okay. So skip over the blue? Yeah. All right. So, Barry Lambert says, Really am enjoying this show. I don't mind the ums at all. Maybe bugged by the pointing out and counting them. Let us have... Let's have a... Ah. Let us have our drinking game in peace. Yeah. So, I know Eric didn't get a chance to watch the show first. But it was explained early in the restaurant about the bulletproof windows. The finding of 52s and the red point outs are fun. I always look for the background things to do. Keep up the great show and info tidbits. For those of us that don't what that don't what seems like we should. Okay. Don't know what uh, don't know what it seems like we should. I totally agree that Dr. Wells is impulse from the future after your helpful info. A shout out to all others that listen, tell your friends, tell these guys what you think. It's it is fun. Um so a nice shout out there for people to go to Facebook, join the Flash Podcast join the Speed Force podcast page and also hit us up on iTunes. Leave some five star reviews. Get it. Uh, the more reviews that we get on there, the more uh, Speed Force will pop up more frequently when people uh, look up for Flash Podcasts. And then we'll get a huge, we'll get a bigger fan base. We get more people emailing every week. And 
it'll just make the episode it'll make the podcast a lot more bigger and enjoyable all right we're almost we've almost hit 100 uh people on the facebook page which is awesome nice um so i'm gonna be pressing play right yeah. now um where he's doing his whole intro thing that he does every episode Oh, for people who are just joining us, which I know you guys probably have been for a while, but as you know, we don't get the commercials. It was pointed out to us that we keep talking and we don't let you guys know when the commercials come up. Um, we don't really know when the commercials are because we're watching this on iTunes, so it just goes straight through. Yeah. So. Um, oh, so. so we're getting the previously on the Flash, and not any of it, it or not really any of it is from the flash it's more so from arrow yeah it's from felicity's point of view or it's more of a felicity flashback yeah or preview um oh so, oh so now we're back to the flash yeah. what happened last episode when who did he get shot by who the dad he wasn't shot. He inhaled... Oh, the gas. Yeah, he inhaled the mist. Oh, well, when I think of cop, I think of shot. Yeah. But Flash is... Finally has a day off from work, so... Um, now he's doing, like, a whole marathon of... Trying to stimulate how fast his mind can operate. And is what he's he doing. stimulates it by playing ping pong, chess, and operation. It's so funny to see Daniel Panabaker, because I just watched Sky High... And that was the first movie she'd ever been in. And she was such a little kid in that, and now she's all grown up. It's so funny. Little kid. I'm, she was like, what, 14? Yeah, she still has pigtails. It's funny. Mm. So, um, we're seeing a armored truck drive down the street with... Oh, did you see how it said Blackhawk on it? I believe that is a reference to something in the comics. I don't remember what it is, but it seems very familiar. Um, if any of you know, point it out to us. Let us know on the Facebook page or email us. Or, you or know. while Phil is talking about this heist currently, I'm going to Google it. So we're getting a bunch of guys rolling up on the truck uh, with motorcycles and a semi-truck. Or no, wait, that's not a semi-truck. That's a tow truck. That's an armored car. Oh. No, the... Oh, yeah, that's a tow truck. Yeah, the tow truck is lifting up the armored truck. Um... And now it's stopped the armored truck. And a couple of the motorcycles are taking out the guards. Oh. Uh, I'm going to be counting how many times they reference Cold in the episode. Because Captain Cold is always famous in the comics for um, making cold puns. And they just said, cool it, right there. But now we're back at Star Labs. And they find out that there's a crime going on with an um, armored truck. And now Flash went out to go take care of it. <laughs> and the medical officer of... What's her name? I'm forgetting right now. I don't know, but I found the Blackhawks Snow. reference. It's a World War, they're World War II uh, ace pilots. Oh, nice. So what that's the deal with the armored car, I'm not too sure, but... I, no, it's not even the same logo. So... One of the guards shoots someone, or one of the motorcyclists shoots a guard uh, as he's trying to escape, and Flash, like, hurriedly runs back to go get him. Are you going to partake today? Oh, yeah, but they almost um, outsold Superman comics. Nice. Almost. No one can outsell Superman. But, okay. Okay, so... Um, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a future reference. In like, the episode or something? Well, no, like, it say that there was, um, the Blackhawks actually became a security service. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, the Blackhawks truck isn't, as far as I know. So, Eddie is talking to Joe about uh, Iris wanting to go see a museum exhibit. And every time in this episode Eddie brings up Iris, Joe just wants to snap his neck. <laughs> Wait, this is be the, no. Will this be the second time they're in a museum? When was the first? The doppelganger guy. That wasn't a museum. That was an office building. Oh uh, yeah, I thought it was a museum. So Barry 
uh, says that there were four people when the when they uh, when the police only thought there were three, uh, which isn't helping his case right now. <laughs> yeah, because look, he's terrible with the captain. The captain flat out hates Barry. I feel because he's so good at his job, though. Yeah, and it just and, and of course Barry saw the guy's face. But he couldn't oh, tell I the love captain this that. scene. I just love this scene right now. He's flipping through the book, and it just goes through all of them. And they make fun of the name Leonard, Leonard right here. And Snart, as that's the name of the character. Leonard Snart? Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful name? <laughs> that sounds like a supervillain name. I don't even... Usually with supervillains and superheroes, they always, co- they always coincide their names somehow with their powers or whatever and it i i would have such oh i like this he refers to himself in third person as the streak and is right about to call himself the flash but iris has to interrupt and we're still we still don't get it yet yeah no probably won't brought up for a while well they say it in the opening well i know but they're not gonna call him like the flash for a while like yeah. oh it's the flash yeah no well it's gonna co- take a while in the comics the first issue uh, Barry run, is running, breaks into a car where there's all these criminals. This is New 52, FYI. Uh, Which I I don't like. You haven't even read any New 52. I don't know, but if that Nightwing show is based off a of New 52 Nightwing, I don't even want to read it. <laughs> I just tried watching your little Nightwing movie. No. I turned it off halfway. Did you actually get the file? Yeah. Okay. I was like, no, Nightwing's kind of a dick. It's like, no. Did you see Jason in it? It was awesome. Jason was so cool in that. Except for the fact that they screwed up a lot of him. Also, They screwed up a lot of that show. Um, So Barry is telling... uh, Oh, by the way, Iris is now running a blog for her fascination with the uh, streak. And... um, Oh, there's Felicity. Yay! Felicity. And Barry's saying that she shouldn't do the blog about... uh, the street. I like how they wait to say that it's guest starring Emily Beck Ricards because until she shows up, for those who didn't know, even though it was so obvious in the trailer, or in like not the trailer, but not just the trailer, but the whole opening uh, previously on. Yeah. How she's in everything. Isn't she always wearing a dress too? Yeah. Mm. Is she right now? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time she's wearing a dress, sometimes she wears pants, but. Uh, most of the time in this episode, we see her wearing a uh, dress. Nope. Now we're back at Captain Cold's base, which looks like a abandoned warehouse. It usually is the aban- abandoned warehouse where the supervillains are. So, oh, I just love Snart, like, in this. He's such a great villain. He He's not a super, let's kill, kill, kill. He's more so, we have a job, and we're going to do it. I kind of like the Joker. Well, of course you love the Joker. How's Barbara doing? Oh, no. <laughs> She's smarter than Felicity. Thanks for not bringing up the other thing. Yeah. I knew you were going to go there. So, Snart's saying how he his uh, father used to... Um, was his father a criminal or a cop? Cop. Yeah. His father used to be a cop, so he Bad was... Bad cop. Yeah. He would learn the time frames it would get, it would take uh, for a cop to respond to any given mission. And so he realized, oh, they bring up heat right now. Which is probably, yeah. Well, it isn't a big cold reference, but we get more so heat at the end of the episode. Mm -hmm. Which seems like it'd be a really good episode. As he turns, he just straight snart shoots the guy, which is perfect. I, I feel he's such a great villain in this. And I don't like how they call him the Blur. He kind of looks like the Born Identity guy. Matt Damon? Yeah. He's actually from the show Prison Break. Oh, I remember that show. I saw a reference on that to Simpsons, which I forgot even existed. Yeah, he and uh, the Heat guy, they're both from Prison Break. Yeah, Prison Break, I heard, I guess, really stupid. But it lasted quite a while, surprisingly. Um... So Barry and Felicity are walking through a park right now, and Felicity's trying to get the information, uh, saying that, oh, you woke up in a coma, you didn't call, you didn't write, you didn't 
run over. <laughs> Race over. Race over. I love her attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. She's like, what? Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> and she's saying that she uh, was able to hear on Ollie's... Uh, calmly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she can keep a good secret, apparently. She just kind of like... I lo she's so terrible at accidentally doing innuendos. Yeah. Like, I'll just be as rich as Oliver Queen. I mean... Uh, since he's the richest person I know. Yeah. Not that I actually know him, but... Oh, so he runs up a bill. He runs to a building and comes back down and takes a picture and grabs her phone and takes a picture. <laughs> hmm. now, why, I, I, why is she saying don't... Why is he say don't Instagram it? Yeah. How would anyone know that? I don't know, but I pointed this out to Phil when he was watching Arrow one time about how they use a lot of uh, advertisements in the show. Yeah. Like with Windows 8. Yeah. They're doing Samsung phones in this one, I think. How many times have you seen a Samsung phone in this? Well, they just showed one and clearly showed it. Okay, well... Okay, so we're here at Star Labs now where Barry is bringing Felicity in. Wow, she changed already. <laughs> it's probably the next day. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I mean, because aren't they different clothes, too? Yeah. So. Well, are day. they? They might be. Well, Felicity's not wearing a dress anymore. Now she's wearing a skirt, okay? You happy? Still flowing. So Cisco's so happy, he's like, so you know who the arrow is? Wait, Barry, do you know who the arrow is? And Barry gives the worst, no, no, I, I've, I've never met him. Nope. Yeah, it's it's kind of like one of those Batman. I mean, like, the richest guy in town. Now he's poor, but... Yeah. So Harrison rolls in all gangster. And he's rolling in like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> except he can talk. Well, Hawking can talk, except it just sounds like a, a speaking, speaking spell. spell. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he knows who Felicity is. And Felicity's, like, dumbfounded for meeting... Uh, Dr. Wells. Yeah. Because he's I, a huge scientific person and she's a oh, scientist. Oh, this is my favorite part. Where he tries to run backwards. Oh, I love this. He's trying to show off for her, so he goes onto his uh, speed treadmill. A cosmic treadmill is what it is in the comics. And he's saying... Um, he, he's trying to show off how fast he is. And Felicity is trying to figure out, is he going to age faster uh, if he run, what's gonna happen if he runs too fast? Will he just poof into dust? And Harris, I love this line, which helps me for more on uh, the impulse theory. Is he says he hasn't um, reached his top speed theoretically? Yeah. He paused they there, which means he knows what Barry's top speed is. Fast enough to go around the world. Well, duh. In eighty seconds or less. <laughs> At least it's not 80 months. Days. Days. <laughs> ha, you're the first one to swear. <laughs> one sec. Okay. Yeah, you had to look back and delete that <laughs> Yeah, out. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. <laughs> yep. I thought I was going to be the first one to swear. Apparently not. Ha. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Let's just keep bringing it up. So... Uh, Joe's saying, did I ever tell you about that time, that crazy time in college? And Eddie's like, no, what happened? He's like, oh yeah, I We're told my friends. friends. <laughs> We're not friends. Stop telling me about your dating life. I don't want to hear it. I know it's my daughter. Woohoo. I don't care. Don't bring it into the, con don't bring it into my life that it's you. Well, yeah, they probably have woohoo. <laughs> okay. Just making sure it's paused. <laughs> Why? They can pass already. Anyways. So, Eddie keeps trying to put <laughs> uh, on different music, and, and it just romantic. keeps... <laughs> the, the next song he puts on, let's get it on. <laughs> he, he's, every song he puts on is like that cliche of, oh, here's a song about uh, me uh, being with your daughter. Here's another song. I'm not doing well with music. <laughs> it's just like Bumblebee. In, uh, tr was that for Transformers 2, where he one. went to college? Oh. I thought he did it in number one. Oh, maybe. It, let's just say Bumblebee is taking over the car. 
So Iris is finally uh, getting a better meeting of Felicity at Jitters, which I'm so sad they got rid of the original set that looks, they used for the first season. It looks like a really for the first episode. I mean, like fancy Starbucks. Yeah, like it looks like it's not just a coffee shop anymore, like in the comics. It looks like it's a full on like cafe. restaurant. Yeah, cafe. Like like you'd see someone having like a sandwich or whatever, like at like a subway. You know what I mean? It looks like a deli. That's the correct term. It looks like where college students go to study. True. That yet, yeah, if you look, every single person here has just a cup of coffee, nothing else. Probably for editing purposes, so they couldn't mess up if someone was eating a sandwich and then they edit it and like there's barely any sandwich and then they edit it and like there's a huge sandwich in front of them. I've seen that in a couple of movies where someone's drinking orange juice and it's like almost empty. They pan back to him, it's like full. Yeah. And it's like, how'd that happen? Well, he drank it between takes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he's at a steel steel yard. That's where his base is. Steel yard or a train train oh no yeah, it's steel. I see the steel in the back. Yeah. Huh, I'm the one that caught it. So we're seeing I don't know who this guy is. He doesn't need a name anyways. Um he's let's call him for right now the science dude. So he brings in these weapons for uh Snart. One of them is like a, a gun to it's like a, a huge flame. It's basically you brought in a flamethrower and an ice ray. Yeah. Best way to describe it. Well, the ice ray, the way they say it is different. It's not hot, it it's not It shoots a cold. white flame uh, that's cold. And I don't, there was no reason. So basically it wasn't just like liquid nitrogen? Yeah, pretty much. You'll see You'll see in just a sec. Um, he asks, who, who knows about this? And the guy's like, just us. And Snart's like, nope, just me. Sorry. It's a cool gun, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the glasses don't help with him make him look like the born identity guy. Yeah. He it looks kind of cool though. Okay, so that one they're at a trivia night at um, Jitters. Oh, I like this part. E equals MC Hammer. No. I love that. No, not that. No, real quick. Lord Mesa, you all know Lord Mesa probably. Uh, he's an amazing artist, and he did a funny photo of the Flash wearing MC Hammer pants and Felicity in her dress. I'm really surprised you haven't like just posted like a the art on the page. I have a couple times. I did the uh, Flash. Uh, energy bar someone overdressed yeah yeah but are you complaining no exactly <laughs> no one complained the second that she walked on not nope. a single person not even the first time did you see eddie he's like he leaned into iris D uh be feel free to buy yourself that dress <laughs> so we're at a uh oh, a museum yeah hey, do you want to bring it up or should i I'll oh, let you I was, do I was it. just gonna bring up the fact that they think their most like treasured hero is a guy that saved cows. Oh yeah. I'm like, okay. Bobby Bovine McFeely. Yeah, he he saves... saved seventeen cows from a great flood. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, so for all the crazy people out there, there's this kid uh, that Leonard Snart hands a piece of gum to. That's and right. everyone thinks it's... that that is Oliver Queen's son. Well, it leaves a giant opening, or it just be something, like, really stupid. It's, it's just some random kid at a museum, dude. So how many random kids have there been in this show? In Star City? Dude, he's not even the right age. How do the you... kid would be eight right now. That does look like eight. Really? Yes. He looks more ten to me. No. You... Okay, what's Oliver's exact age in the show? Twenty... Thirty... There you go. I'm talking about a flashback. <laughs> so, Felicity and, uh, and what's his face? Barry, that's the character's name, I think. I was thinking of Eddie. Felicity and Barry are just destroying it at the trivia night. Yeah, I like when uh, Eddie kind of messes up on this one. Oh question. my gosh, I would hit him if I was there. <laughs> but then again, he'd run around the world and rip me apart. <laughs> Eddie? So, yeah. Professor Zoom? Not at this point in time. Oh, we don't know if he has the power or not yet. So. Uh, no, they probably would have brought it in by now. No, they wouldn't. No, dude, it took forever for them to realize, for them to say that Merlin was the Dark Archer. Um, it took him one season. Well, it took him to the mid-season finale. Oh, okay. That's what it did. So, so Iris. Six episodes. 
No, uh, that was around the episode that Dodger came out. That was Roy's first introduction. So that was episode 12, possibly. Okay, I'll snap off. You, yeah. And we're on episode four. Of this, yeah. So it, we got a bit of time before they bring in... Uh, well, we know that Professor Zoom's coming soon. And we're kind of skipping over how Iris is saying, Barry, you need to date Felicity. Like, Felicity's single. Ooh, this is the scene that... Did, I think that you loved this scene between, out of the two of us. Yeah. Where you get to see Harrison's evil dark side right here. And... Well, this is kind of where I don't think he's impulse because he would have figured this out unless it has one dramatic effect of the future yeah well because if impulse he knows goes, that captain cold is uh, flash's biggest villain yeah like everyone thinks professor zoom is but i always thought that captain cold was his biggest villain yeah but then again i mean impulse could have prevented this so cisco has built su built some type of weapon and and wells is going all angry so, okay. He's getting super angry at Cisco about it right now. And his angry voice scares me. If, yeah, because the subtitles are terrifying. Well, I've seen the episode <laughs> twice, okay? So I'm just wondering, if Cisco built the freeze gun, who built the fire one? Uh, possibly him. It was him. But it only said one weapon was missing. Well, two were missing because the guy, the... Who was his name? The science guy yeah. that we talked about that Snart killed already? Um, he said that I got both of these weapons from the Star Labs. I stole both of them. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh. Part. <laughs> so Eddie messed up on a question. He thought he knew it, but um, hit the wrong one. And it angers me. Wait, the Pride of pa Pride and Padawans? That's what they're called. Yeah. Eddie guessed the wrong name of Han Solo's ship. It's a Titanium Falcon, right? Uh, I thought it was Adamantium Falcon. Ah, dang. I was so close. I it's... thought you were going to say it again. <laughs> what? That's yeah, funny. yeah, I know. So I, I The did things that. that beavers build. <laughs> um... So Barry has to get out of here and Felicity saying, I'll cover for you. I'll tell him that. Uh, and he's like, what's the usual cover for uh, Oliver? And she's like, oh, he's out at a club or he's sleeping with some supermodel. Hangover. And he's like, neither of those will work for me. She's like, okay, explosive diarrhea. I'm still not okay with this. <laughs> Go. She's a terrible liar. Yeah. Isn't she? She kind of is. Wait, no, she's not the terrible liar. It's Simmons that's a terrible liar on S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, that gun's kind of cool. I know. It's it's really awesome. I love Captain Cold as a villain here. He's so good. Because in the comics they made him a joke. Yes, and they just make him, like, the best villain so far. Like, out of all the villains that Flash has had so far on the show, he's, like, one of the best ones. And Flash just got hit. Nice. I mean, no! Red carpet, no! There you go. <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, did you see the chair? It was also red. Time for a test. Yeah, I, I see a lot of the red. I just don't want to point it all out because then no one will be talking. Okay. So. Hey, I don't know why Flash. No, the Captain Cold just doesn't, like, freeze the ground around him. So, <laughs> that, that makes no sense. Okay, right now, what's his name? Captain Cold has figured out Flash's weakness. It isn't the ice on him. It's Flash's... Um, well, the ice on him kind of is a pretty good Well, weakness. yeah, he, that's not his main weakness, no. Because um, he his weakness is that he's always trying to save people. The way that I heard it in the Justice League is Batman's the brains, Superman's the strength, and Flash is the heart. He's yeah. he's the heart of the Justice League. And Flash's other weakness is wet floors. Yeah. So if they don't it put used, a wet it floor used to sign be, there, it, it he's used done. his his weakness used to be uh solid objects until he could go through those. That's funny. <laughs> oh no, a wall. Ah, <laughs> 
Um, so, basically, he got frostbite, and his body's healing, and I'm taking it. Build a handheld. So, Felicity says that Snart dropped out of high school, and how did he build the gun? And Cisco comes forward saying, I built the gun. I built it to stop you. Nice. And it's just... Uh, yeah. It's kind of like a mean thing to do, but I completely understand what Cisco is doing. It's kind of like how Batman has a lead case on his uh, utility belt with, like, a nice good chunk of kryptonite. Mm -hmm. It's like, in case you go nuts, I need to be there. This has... We can't let you destroy the world. And just like how Rose Wilson has a kryptonite, or kryptonite eye. Yeah. <laughs> it took you long enough. What is that? Wait. Why are you playing here right now? I'm not playing. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Okay. It took for them to uh, have the phone go off. Okay, so, yeah, we're really not talking at the very important part of Barry yelling at Cisco and losing him as a friend, kind of. Well, not really losing him as a friend. He's just... I don't think he's just kind of losing the trust, but and Barry will understand... Someone died due to the pow due to the weapon he built, and Cisco's like, "And that's something I have to live with." And Barry's like, "No, it's something we all have to live with now." Yeah, you let someone die, I couldn't save them. That kind of looks like Laurel in the first second. Who Iris? Yeah, yeah. I know, but I I take Cisco's side with building the gun. The fire one, not so much. I don't know why he built that one. Probably in case the the cold one got caught. Yeah, <laughs> stolen. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, that's probably why he did it. <laughs> Is in case the, whoever had the uh, the ice gun fell into the wrong hands. Oh wow, I actually do see Laurel and... Oh, what's the other guy's name? The cop? The dad? Uh, Quentin. Yeah. It's basically those two again. A lot like it, yeah. Except, Except one's, instead of one being a lore, it's just a reporter. Yeah. It's just another Lois Lane character. Yeah. And Anyways. so Joe's talking right now about, sorry, the way I treat your boyfriend. He's my partner. If I look at him, I can't look at him as a partner anymore. I can only see him as your boyfriend. And if we go into a deadly situation and he doesn't come out, there's no way I can ever look you in the face ever again. Yeah, because it'd be your fault, wouldn't it? Well, it would be his fault. Not really. What are you doing? Grab some of the drink. Can you grab me one too? Sure. I'll just take a pepper, yeah. So, we have Leonard walking with his two goons in the building right now. And they're saying that they want out and they put a gun to uh, Leonard's head. So, in case he <laughs> turns around and shoots them. Which, that's what happened to the last guy that wanted out. <laughs> One thing I've learned is when you point a gun at someone, stay about three to four feet back. Why? Because they like to take the gun away. Yeah, it doesn't but Leonard happen. doesn't do that right here. He yeah. He's not afraid of it. He He's not afraid to get shot. Well, I'm just saying, just in general. you got to point so, a gun at someone, stay back a couple feet. Well, is they walked back far enough now. And now he's all on his own. He's only running 270. That's pretty slow for the Flash. He's just starting out. Yeah, okay, he's at three now. Hey, Felicity's in another dress. Um, no, but in the first episode, I think he hit like four, dude. 400? Yeah. I don't think so. So Felicity's saying, he's saying that Felicity should go back to her hotel room and get some sleep, and she's like, you should do the same. Except not go back to her hotel room. Yeah. Anyways. So Barry's saying that... He watched I, him die. And I, it's kind of like a blow to his like what, his self-esteem. Yeah. He wasn't fast enough. But now he can go faster. The Flash can always go faster. Yeah. Oh, wait. I thought I saw the word pulse. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we know impulse is in the show already, Harrison. Uh, now she's trying to, like... She's trying to talk to him about how yeah. she, Oliver, and Diggle 
or a well-oiled machine who had this who has this whole vigilante thing down to a system and when Oliver says leave they go and help him out in some way yeah because every time Oliver says I need to do this alone he ends up almost dying and either Diggle or Felicity is just standing right there saying need help yeah they they're always there to bring it in and She's, I, yeah, I only really notice that. That's always when he says, "I don't I need, need to do your this help." I don't he need your help. I can do this killed. on my own. And that's what. Yeah. Well, in the season two finale, he's like, "I need as much help as I can get, though." Yeah. And that's when they called in uh, the league. <laughs> well, he didn't want to call so, in the league. Huh? Freeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love that. It's not a. Someone said. It's so pathetic how the cop just gave up right there. He wasn't a cop. He was a museum guard, and he's not going to risk his life right here. I'm just surprised the museum guard has a gun. Yeah. Guy in Night at the Museum didn't have a gun. He had a monkey. Wait, what? Night at the Museum. That's true. He barely had a monkey, too. That monkey didn't even like him. But he also had Robin Williams. Yeah. He won't have him for the third movie. Yeah, he does. He does? Yeah, well, okay. I believe Robin Williams is in that movie. He's going to be in the new one? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's good. It's the ghost of Robin Williams. Now, now you're just taking it too far, man. <laughs> so, Cisco is saying, uh, I know how to locate Snart. He, his gun, it's clicking too much. It's picking up on there. I know how to pick up, I know how to find Snart, and uh, we just need to hack the gun. And Felicity's like, oh, I can hack. And Cisco is getting onto this huge computer. Felicity just sits on a laptop and gets it within, like, a second. And they're on these big, giant, kind of like supercomputers. Not really supercomputers, but... And she's on, like, a tiny little, like, Dell. Like a Dell notebook or whatever. Uh, it's a Windows. As you see in Arrow, they're all Windows. Why does no one have Mac? Because no one likes Mac. So, Barry turns off his communication on his suit, and they're like, why we need to be able to talk to you and communicate he's like i don't feel like talking right now and just like runs out like a little child and uh what's his name joe yeah i'm sorry i forget the characters names every once in a while so joe's saying that they need to um telling eddie to stay back and not go into the museum and now back at star labs felicity's kind of giving like a little pep talk and they're like, we need to help Barry, and, and he, Snow's like... And blew away his secret. What? Accidentally, all she said about Oliver... She Pinero didn't She didn't actually Nicole. say... Well... She didn't actually say that When was, she tries to backtrack, it's kind of like an obvious way of saying it. Yeah. We already know Impulse... Pro or, we already know Harrison probably knows who, uh, Green Arrow, who the Arrow is. Anyways, this partner shows up. Because he's oh, his nice. partner. And that's the movie so, I've Snart jumps back in, jumps onto a train. Uh, Which is pretty smart. I mean, this is... He's trying to escape. And Flash runs in, runs up, and jumps into the train. I don't know why he's wearing a cold suit. I don't think he's really that cold. Well... The gun does shoot out a cold thing, and if he's holding the gun constantly, it could free it could make the gun a little cold to touch a little bit, which, and yeah. and it's always constantly around him, so the cold air is constantly around. Okay. It makes sense. Either that, or he's just doing it for epic cool costume. I to think fit it's just for outfit, costume to fit with the gun. And so he freezes the bottom of the train, so it's going to start to destroy. And he makes an epic getaway. <laughs> I love that. Good luck with that. <laughs> He's so good at being an evil guy. Yeah, he. No, and I this like scene Stroke. is so awesome. This is like the best scene I've seen in all four episodes so far. The lightning flashes in in his eyes, and he just goes through all seven of the train cars and saves everybody out of each of them. No. And he runs on the walls, he runs on the ceiling. He... So now he's finally starting to do, so next episode he might end up running up a wall. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it. Oh, yes? Yeah. Cool. He's also becoming a lot more uh, egotistical, which Flash is known for in the comics. Yeah. 
And so Flash saves everyone and then gets shot by uh, Leonard. Yeah, I like how you keep saying Leonard. It's kind of funny. It, it's, it's so hard for me to call him snart and not laugh. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so Leonard has him, like, all down on the ground. And Cisco comes in with a prototype cold gun. Four times the power, four times the size. Yeah, and it takes apparently three people to operate it. Well, it's it's a prototype for now. Uh, yeah, they have to hold the main generator part for it. That's what the other. That's what uh, Snow and Felicity are carrying it. Yeah, and Cisco is the one in front because he's the one that has to make the point. And I love this. Like Snart decides, I'm not going to kill you. Have a good day, though. And Cisco's telling him to drop the diamond, and Snart is so, like, is so good at being evil that he's just <laughs> like, don't eat, don't push your luck. Yeah, apparently it was just a vacuum. I love that. <laughs> at first I thought you were actually serious, but I'm like, no. No, I love that. I, I love that it was just the vacuum. With the a lot light. of LED lights. Yeah. So, Flash and Cisco are now friends again. For now. Next episode. We'll see. You fuck. You made the fire gun. Okay, we're enemies again. No, next episode isn't them. It's gonna be a couple episodes till we get them again. Till we get those two back. That would be a. I don't know. Would that be the crossover episode with those two? Nah, the crossover episode is gonna be with Captain Boomerang, I believe. Oh, that's retarded. Well, he's an ex Ar- Argus agent. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Since yeah. Argus is like really popular with Arrow. Yeah. Right, um, when are they gonna bring in Gorilla Grodd? They are going to bring it in. It's going to be a while, though. Uh, next season, probably? No, it's going to be this season, but it's going to be a bit. Hmm. I don't know if they started filming yet, and no one knows if it's going to be all CGI or what. Sounds so, expensive. So, Felicity's now leaving, and right there, right there's the perfect time, and you can tell she wants him to, but he doesn't. Yeah, a lot of people want to. See, while Eric is over here with Allicity, I'm a... Uh, I still don't know the name of it. Is it Bericity or Fairy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Barry is a fairy. Good job. Okay, so I'm going with uh, Bericity now. No, I'm just going to call him a fairy. No. <laughs> Good job, Phil. F- F-A-R-R-Y. Is that what it is? Or fairy. F-E-R-R-Y. So... Flary, that's what it is. Eric Wells is kind of forgiving Cisco, but he's still not happy about it. Uh, he tell. just... He's... That kind of grab like is just like death grip. Oh god! <laughs> He's like, I don't have the use of my legs, but I do have the le- use of my arms to beat you down. <laughs> so, Iris is visiting her dad at the police station now. Actually, this is the one episode where Barry doesn't go visit his dad. Yeah, well, we didn't get it in episode two, I believe. Yeah, we did. No, when? I'm pretty sure we did, because that was the, uh, dude in the flashbacks. Too. Well, that was in the flashback, yeah. That is, is, is you're still there. Which is interesting, I just realized. Why? There were no, there's no, uh, flashbacks in this episode. Right, there's nothing to flashback to. Yeah. They haven't done a flashback to all the criminals, which they probably should have. See why they became the criminal in the first place, but. Well, that's if they start out already the villain they are. I I say that I like the way that they're doing it, where they show the villain's origin story in this. Well, they well, nah, I guess. Anyways, so they've got the Iris and her deck probably basically made up. Yeah, and is that the suit that you want to start wearing? Yeah, is that the style. Okay, that's what I thought. With the whole tie and vest and shirt. yeah, I just okay. gotta start finding. I gotta go in town and actually buy a vest. So, Felicity is on the train heading back to Starling City, and (laughs) I like how it says Yelps, and then it says that she Yelped. (laughs) Yeah. Again, another advertisement for Microsoft Windows 8. Well, that's that's all Felicity is. (laughs) Yeah. That's what all she does is market that. And um, Barry comes to talk to her, and Felicity's like, you're in love with that Iris girl, aren't you? And he's like, yeah. It's You're awesome. in love with Oliver, aren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was so happy during that season finale episode. When he finally... Yeah. I was like, yeah! Said a lot of things about Diggle, and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> You'd have laughed so hard if you heard. What? I was oh, just... you messaged... You texted me <laughs> what you said. Yeah, I was so happy. <laughs> you were angry. It seemed like you were so angry at Diggle. <laughs> um... But now Diggle's a dad, so it makes Daddy sense. Daddy Diggle! <laughs> I love that. So now we'll call it Diggle Dee Dee. No, it's more so Daddy Diggle. He yep. has it, that's his full superhero name now. Instead of Black Driver, we don't have to call him that anymore. Oh, well, you called him that. And, well, that's what everyone called him after he made the joke on the show in episode three of season two. Um, so, so Felicity's saying that it's so pathetic. We're both after people we can't have, and we're so perfect for each other. And Barry's saying that, um, and Barry's also agreeing, and then says bye, right, as before he runs out again. This is a very slow bye for... The Flash. For Barry. <laughs> It's no, it's it, it's Barry. It's Barry City. <laughs> it's Barry City now. I'm gonna go on the Speed Force web, the uh, Facebook page, and just type in "Yay, Barry." Is this the first time you're ever gonna go on it? No, yeah, I, I doubt you're gonna go on it. No, I've actually been on it a couple of times. You never post anything. No, because I always get a okay. Pop so up from so we get Barry doing his whole like smile, yell, and run away. Keystone, did you catch that? Keystone's the city right next to. Uh, Coast or Central City, kind of like how Bloodhaven's uh, apparently. Well, it's never it's never been that way in the comics. This actually is in the comics that Flash was the protector of both of those. Now, Cold has brought something for his friend. Like the entire room is all dark except for a single match that keeps getting lit. Like the guy keeps lighting different a match every so often, and he looks at the heat gun. Can anyone guess that he's a pyromaniac? No way. Uh, and it's Mick. I like that. They actually are using his name right here. Instead of Heat Wave yet. Yeah, well, I don't think uh, Cisco gave the uh, Captain Cold. Yeah, he actually called him Captain Cold. Oh, he did? He said, uh, he, we, we were talking over that. He's like, um, so you were fighting Captain Cold and this happened. And I think it was, what's, his, what's her name? Snow. She was saying... You have to stop naming these people. Yeah. And I like how he's naming them all. That's the only thing I actually loved about the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode is that one lady. It's like, oh, he gave him a name. Oh, Scorch? Yeah. Yeah, I love Scorch. Scorch. It's time to scorch it up. And they're just like, oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> stop naming. What are you doing? Nothing. Just, oh, Day of the Dead. So, um... I think that's about it. Next week, next week we have the week off due to um, what are you doing? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> know this by heart. How do you not know it yet? I don't know. Okay, so next week we're actually getting um, we get a uh, week off from the Flash. So uh, I think it's due to election week. And this is why we're is why we're not getting anything. Um, oh yeah, politics. That thing that exists. Not out here in Zion. Where TV is limited. Yeah. Well, you, you say that as you turn to your left and look at two TVs. Yeah, but they're not connected to the cable. They're connected to my computer. And my Xbox. My giant 42-inch screen computer Versus monitor. Mine, uh, 19-inch, <laughs> I think mine is. Or 21. It's a really small TV. Um... So, I think that's about it. Do you think have anything else to add about Captain Cold, Impulse, Felicity? Uh, there really wasn't much uh, Easter eggs in this episode. The Black Hawk was the uh, only reference that Phil found. and Like I said, those were a uh, squad of World War II ace pilots that almost outsold Superman during the 1940s. But Outsold in comics? Yeah. Nice. Like, they're the second runner for DC Comics. Um, but other than that... Wait, what year was that? Because that may have been during World War Two. I just said that, World War Two Ace Pilots. Yeah, but did it come out at that time? 1940, yeah. Okay. Um, no, but people I, people were thinking, is Felicity going to join the show of uh, leave 
Arrow and come to Flash? And I believe yes. And I, I have a long idea of why. I believe no. I think she will for... And it's, it's for this reason for character development. She'll join the show because she and Barry will start dating and then they're going to start dating. Um, they're going to break up. Or wait, first off... Ronnie comes back, and then there's a lot of this mistrust between Ronnie and Caitlin. And um, Felicity breaks up with Barry. Barry starts dating Iris. Felicity starts dating Firestorm, which isn't that in the comics? Mm -hmm. um, and then that's how they're going to keep with their good uh, the comic book continuity. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, but in the shows if Felicity leaves that's gonna cripple the Arrow show because why they have so many people on Team Arrow now it's like ridiculous I, I, they have no tech p person I mean like all gonna be like oh I need a way to hack into this there was a draw Felicity there was oh. a drawing there was a drawing that Lord Mesa did of where Diggle was saying oh it says you need to turn it on Felicity said you need to use the Arrow keys and like there's a picture of a computer the computer with two arrows through it and he's like oh felicity is gonna kill me <laughs> no i could just see like yeah diggle like saying okay so tell me to press the any key felicity's like yeah press any key where's where the, is it where's the any key i don't see any <laughs> i key. don't see the any key <laughs> yeah there's always that it, one person is there is the alt key considered the any key yeah sure why not <laughs> um so yeah, to dis to join the discussion with everyone, you can go to the Facebook go to facebook.com slash groups slash speed force podcast. Oh, I thought we were still on the discussion. Or to have your email read <laughs> at the beginning of the podcast, email us at speedforcepodcast at gmail dot com. For us here at Speed Force, I'm Phil. And I'm Eric. Ride the lightning speedsters. Should never gone into my lab to experiment that night. Before lightning flashed around me and time changed speed Now I gotta try to be so patient until calamity will strike Because when things change in an instant, it's almost fast enough for me And I'll be there before you know it, I'll be gone before you see me Do you think you can imagine anything so lonely? And I know you'd really like me, but I never stick around Cause time keeps dragging on and on and on and on and on Hello and welcome to the Marvel Minute. I'm your host, Phil Maynard. Hi, my name's Ashley Holcomb. Uh, and she's my co-host today. Um, well, I've had a different co-host for the Marvel Minute every week now. First starting with uh, Nicole, then Margaret, then Eric, then by myself, and now we got Ashley here. Side effect of working with a lot of different people. Yeah. Living in dorms and with a bunch of people everywhere, you can always get another person who's willing to join in. Oh, oh my gosh. So the big... <laughs> Every week we, dis uh, we discuss the big Marvel news, but this week was incredible. Go Phase 3. All the way back on Tuesday, um, they released the official lineup for Phase 3, along with a clip. From, I don't know, I saw the clip, but I'm not sure if it was Age of Ultron or Civil War. But, it just looks incredible. Everything about this lineup is amazing. Um, so Marvel has released their official lineup. After Age of Ultron comes out, everyone knows that Ant-Man's coming. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we'll hopefully get to see both Ant-Man, and I'm actually hoping for Wasp. She was one of my favorites in the comics. Yeah, uh, it's rumor that she might be in it which is really good to hear yeah um nice to have another strong female character it might actually be the original ant-man's daughter though they might change that up a little bit so that the new ant-man who they're going off of in the comics i'm not sure what his name is but he became ant-man after hank pym well as long as it makes sense i'm pretty open with that yeah it's gonna have um flashbacks in the movie i know that all right um we also have a uh, we also, we have officially confirmed. I know we did back in episode one, I think it was or two that we talked about um, Captain America: Civil War. That is official now. I am so happy. One of my most favorite comics, though I am worried 
because if they can't do it with Spider-Man, it's going to be really difficult because he's a big player in the Civil War. And I hope they can get Spider-Man to join in. Yeah. That would be good. I mean, I'm still mad they can't get the X-Men to join in. Eh. I, I say leave the X-Men. We... The X-Men never took part in the Civil War anyways. Well, I meant I wish they could cross with the movies. Yeah, true. That would be really good. That, well, I'm still curious how they're going to do Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch's backstory now in um, Age of Ultron. Yeah, oh, that's going to be interesting. Because they, it's either they were tested on or they were somehow born with disabilities. Which, so far, we've learned that the only person born with their abilities in Marvel is Thor. And that's just because he's a god. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's Asgardian. Yeah, and these are just random civilians seeing how... We'll see how they become superheroes. Yeah, well, they can't be Magneto's kids this time around. Yeah, they are called the Maximoff kids, though. Yeah, for... Yeah. So, that'll so, still work. Yeah. And they're probably keeping their original names, Pietro and Wanda, right? Yeah. Um, ooh, big news. Doctor Strange has been confirmed officially, finally... And it has also been at a 98% uh, chance that Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be playing Doctor Strange. Go Con! Finally. He, back in July, he said, oh, don't worry, I'm not Doctor Strange, it's not me, it's not me. And then Comic Con came around and everyone was just like, well, who is it then? And then everyone comes out, it's Joaquin Phoenix. And then after he left, then all these other names got cycled through and it's just like, just go back to Benedict Cumberbatch. And they went back to him and it's great now, finally. Yeah. We'll do a good job. I believe Hopefully. they're going to, yeah. I, he looks like, he just, he looks exactly like Stephen Strange. So it do, it's going to work pretty well in physical. Let's see if we can get the acting done correctly. I don't know. He did a good job as Khan, in my opinion. Well, the thing is, he's British, but Stephen Strange is from uh, New York, if I believe. So. Well, it's not that hard to fake an accent. Yeah. Um, so then, I believe that that's where they're going to bring in the reality gem for oh, the Infinity Stones. Stone. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to throw that in there. And speaking of Infinity Stones, we got Guardian of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> Their date actually got changed to is that two months before yeah, yeah it was originally in july yeah they got it they actually pushed it forward so we actually are gonna get it sooner just by two months i just hope it's sooner. just as funny as the first one that was the great part about seeing that oh yeah and they have an entire new cassette tape for them to play in the movie <laughs> so because we only heard two songs from it from... yeah uh we heard ain't no mountain high or low and um what was the other one? The one you see Groot dancing to at the very end. Oh, it's by Michael Jackson. Or no, it's by the Jackson 5, but I can't remember what it is right now. Neither do I. And I believe the villain for that will be Kang the Conqueror. And that they'll bring awesome. in the Time Gem. By the way, i got to show you the song, uh, Ka uh, Kang the Conqueror. It's hilarious. There's an actual song that people did. It's so funny. <laughs> um, now a big one that uh, Marvel is saying is going to be the Winter Soldier of Phase 3. How, Ragnarok. Yeah, Winter, yeah, Thor Ragnarok. Winter Soldier changed everything in Marvel. Thor Ragnarok, is they say, is going to change everything as well. I feel that is, the, that is going to be the uh, reason because Thor will probably die in that. And then after credit scene, I'm going on saying that a female, like in the comics, has acquired... Thor's hammer, which is going to be very awkward for Tony. <laughs> well, um, I admit, sometimes I like seeing, t seeing Stark squirm. It is hilarious. Oh, that is funny. Um, uh, big news number seven, I think we're at right now. Yeah. Black Panther. That'll be awesome. <laughs> he was one of my favorites in the comics. And they've just casted him as well. They, they they have already casted him and his movies later, and it still isn't officially confirmed that Doctor Strange is casted yet. <laughs> so, well, Black Panther is one a lot of people have been looking forward to. I ever think. since Iron Man Two came out, and yeah. they showed that scene where there was a chance that he could be in it. Now yeah. they finally casted him with Chadwick Boseman. Do you know where he's from? Not off the top of my head. I believe he was in 12 Years a Slave, is where I hear he's from, and I hear that he was amazing in it. Okay, I haven't seen that movie then. Um, and 
I'm excited because finally we get Black Panther. And I just saw that LL Cool J is gonna, is ref, is gonna be in a movie, a Marvel movie. There's a chance he might be in that, is uh, possibly as T'Chaka. Yeah. He could, he might be uh, T'Challa's father. Which would actually be pretty awesome. Yeah, everyone loves LL Cool J. <laughs> yeah, especially, well, most most people probably know him from his role on NCIS Los Angeles. I know him as he has great songs that I love. <laughs> what can I say? NCIS fangirl here. And rapper fan here. <laughs> um, so, big one after Black Panther comes out, Avengers Infinity War Part 1. Yay. They're going to be splitting it up into two parts. Just, Smart move. Yeah, just like every other movie before it nowadays that has a big series. Mockingjay is getting split into two. It's so they can keep everything in it. Yeah, oh my gosh. And how I hear that Avengers Part 1 isn't even going to have all the main characters. Which is why I feel... I wonder um, if they'll be able to cross in the Guardians of the Galaxy with the Avengers. They are going to have to, I believe, in Part 2. That could be awesome, because I do remember reading somewhere that they would think it'd be funny for Star-Lord and Stark, Tony Stark, to meet up. Oh, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. Down to them saying that the origin, that most of the original cast of Avengers will not be in it. I feel Captain America will die in Civil War, and Bucky will take over as Cap, changing that acting. Mm-hmm. And Thor will die, and they'll change that one. And then that's that's two characters that they've swapped out. Yeah. We don't even know. There's still nothing for Black Pan- for Black Widow or Hawkeye anywhere in this list. Yeah. There's a chance they may not make it through Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. I just re- I read that. Sucks. Black Widow's one of my favorites. Yeah, and Hawkeye's one of mine. He's very un. He's very uncredited for all the great work that he does. Um, yeah, but they're more more the background characters because they were originally tied with Shield and such. Yeah. I, I, oh, well, Hawkeye. Man, he only has a couple of lines when you first meet him in Thor. He only has a couple of lines, and I just remember because it laughed my head off. Hey, you want me to shoot this guy? Because I'm starting to root for it. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, was awesome. Like, yep, that's Hawkeye. I, I liked, I love the banter between him and Black Widow on the bridge, where it's like, just like Budapest, right? And it's like, you we and I were... remember Budapest very differently. <laughs> Which I feel they should make an origin movie called Budapest and have. It's starring both of them and of how they met, and I think that it would be a great movie. Um, so after Avengers Infinity War Part 1 comes out, we get Captain Marvel starring Carol Danvers, who is the female Captain Marvel. Uh, I believe that was, she went by Miss Marvel, but changed Yeah, Miss to, or Mrs. Marvel. Yeah, Miss Marvel, like and then changed to Captain Marvel. Uh, it, like, along with changing her outfits entirely different... It's gonna be. It's gonna throw everyone for a loop. It's gonna be the first female-led superhero movie that Marvel has put out. Nice. Yeah, they've well, love... had plenty of females as strong supporting characters, but never as a title. Yeah. Um, which I wish it would be that they would create the first female superhero movie, but DC is coming out with Marvel the month before, or not the month, but the year before, in They're 2017. Coming... What are they coming out with? Wonder Woman. Oh. But well, then again, Margaret was saying today at lunch that with how DC keeps pushing back their movies and with how hard it is to get a Wonder Woman, like anything, TV show movie made, there's a chance that it may not even be made. And yeah. Well, right now, movie-wise, Marvel's doing a lot better than DC. Yeah, you saw that picture. <laughs> where it was yeah. Just, <laughs> that well, was funny. to be honest, um, let's see. Most recent one DC came out with, I can't, I don't even know which one it was. That was Man of Steel it came out with last year. Haven't even seen it. Yeah. It, and, of course, yeah, the first thing that jumps in my mind is Avengers, and that just kind of smoked everything. Yeah, they came out two years ago. <laughs> um, and then after Captain Marvel, we get later that year... Inhumans, which, guys, I would love to tell you everything I know about the Inhumans, but here's the thing. I know literally nothing about them. The, Same here. The most I know is, I've ta- I got a little bit of info from my co-worker today. He says that um, there's a character in there, Black Bolt, that the louder he talks, the more powerful he becomes. Or, like, the, like his voice is like an ecosystem. 
Like, the only way that he can talk without destroying a room is by whispering. Sounds like duct tape would come in very handy with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after Inhumans comes out, we got an Avengers Infinity War Part 2. May 2019, so five years. Yeah, five years down the line. This is... It, it's gonna be big. This is nine movies that they just released. How many in this list? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Well, technically we don't count Avengers Age of Ultron. So there and are think... ten movies part of oh. Avengers fi- or Marvel oh, phase. phase 3. What did what did what did Phase 1 have? Iron Man, yeah. uh, Iron Man, Iron two. Man 2, Hulk, Hulk. Thor, Hulk. Captain America, Avengers. That's just six. That's six. And I think it's six for phase two as well. Yeah, and then they're just like, nope, we're gonna ju- we're gonna drop a bunch of new characters in now. Oh uh, no, or would Guardians of the Galaxy cart count as phase two as well? Yes, that is phase two. Okay. So would that make it seven? Uh, or I think we've got be... no. That'd still be okay. Iron Man three. Iron Man three. Thor Dark, Dark World. World. Um, Captain America: Winter Soldier. Guardians. Guardians. Avengers. They had five. Age of Ultron. Yeah, that's only five. Wow. So we went from six, five, to, to ten. ten. <laughs> yeah. Th- what's it, what's it look like? We got two. We got two movies coming out. Two thousand fifteen with Avengers, a- uh, Age of Ultron, and Ant Man. Two thousand sixteen. We got Civil War and Doctor Strange. That's two. Seventeen. Seventeen. We got three movies with Guardians Maybe. of the Galaxy two, Thor Ragnarok, and, and Black, Black Panther. Panther. 18, 2018, we got three movies, Avengers of Infinity War, uh, Captain Marvel, and Inhumans, and so far, so far, uh, Avengers Infinity War Part 2 is set for 19 as the only thing, which is ter- terrifying that that is the only thing listed, because so that could mean that it's the end. Hopefully it isn't. Marvel is going to go on forever. Um, yeah. But oh. Maybe they don't want. But sometimes there can be such a thing called too much of a good thing. Yeah. Uh, if they think it's Robert, a good enough ending. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. went into an interview recently, saying that uh, superhero movies are starting to get uh, like drawn out and boring. And this is coming from Iron Man. Yeah, who is perfectly cast as Iron Man. And they, like, he can say whatever he wants. He can say that Tony Stark is the worst character in the world, and they will still have him play him. He could say DC is better, and they will still have him because he's, he... He is Tony, he is Tony Stark. And he is Marvel. He is the, like, foundation of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, I remember because it was kind of at first odd when Iron Man came out, but it's like, but everything that's built on it, it's like, it's very essential. Um, yeah, uh, there's so many great things coming soon. Um, oh, uh, stupid ad. Um, what else we got coming? Oh, last night we had a trailer, uh, during, um... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. For Agent Carter, starting January, it's going to be an eight parts, eight episode series, I believe. It's going to be a short thing, and it's going to tell the story of Agent Carter going from uh, SSR to Shield. Nice, because that's one. I mean, that's one you want to know a bit more about. Of how did Shield come to be, and like we have a show of how Shield's dealing with now. Yeah, with the realization that Hydra is still alive and kicking. Oh, yeah. She hasn't seen uh, Winter Soldier yet, so... Sorry, I keep falling asleep. So, yeah... Not that it's not boring. It's just I get really tired after a day of work. Yeah. So, uh, that's why she says that. Um, And we got an extended trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron last night, which was the trailer that they showed at Comic-Con. Which, I admit, my primary first thought was, "All oh, right, Stark, what'd you do this time?" <laughs> it, yeah, it has to be Stark's fault that Ultron, because they can't say it was Ant Man, because he's not been introduced yet. Though we do have flashbacks to Ant Man in the next Ant Man in the Ant Man movie, which and the whole reason Ultron comes to be is Tony's resurrecting an old, like military, like thing, intelligence program or something. Yes. Yeah. 
and that could be Hank probably started that back then and Tony just said oh he was just missing this component and then turns it on hey yay we have Ultron here to help and kill us <laughs> all right we're toast <laughs> So, like, okay, Stark, why did you do that? Yeah, well, Thor grabs Tony by the throat in the trailer. Yeah, that's the vibe. The first thing I thought was, all right, Stark, what'd you do this time? Um, other than that, I think, I think we don't have anything else for the Marvel Minute, or more so Marvel 17 Minutes. Almost 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, and there's no new episode of Flash next week, so we won't have a podcast for that. Um, and so no Marvel Minute. I know that's what everyone looks forward to and whatever new co-host I can get for the episode. Hey, you have a lot of co-workers to choose from. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get Chris for the next one because he would be interested in it probably. But for us here at the Marvel Minute, I'm Phil. I'm Ashley. Um, have a good 